Hey, it's Min. Today I want to talk about how can you recognize when you're being power played. So let's start first with the definition of a power play because you can't hope to recognize one if you don't actually know what one is. So in short, a power play is basically any maneuver, usually verbal, that someone uses to get to manipulate someone to get them to do something that they want them to do. Or sometimes it's actually to avoid doing something that they should be doing. Okay, so back to the question of how can you recognize a power play when one's being played against you? Well, the short answer is you can't. There's no way to know for sure because unless someone admits it to you, then you're just not quite sure. You can only use kind of what you, what you can see. However, there are certain red flags that suggest the presence of a power play between you and another person. Today we're going to talk about one of these red flags. There's actually seven that I've detailed in my book, People Games. Okay, so we're going to talk about one of these seven red flags. I'm going to do it by telling you a story about two of my buddies, uh, John and David. I've changed their identities to protect the innocent. But anyhow, I was with the two of them at a outlet mall. And I think we were walking around in the shoe store just looking at shoes because we were bored. But anyhow, uh, so David finds a, a pair of shoes that he really likes. And he goes over to John and basically shows them to him. And he, he's kind of excited. He's like, hey, what do you do? What do you think about this, this pair of shoes? And John kind of like, you know, just glances at it and like kind of waves it off like, oh, no, no, no way. No way, man. And so... David takes the shoes and kind of slinks away and puts them away and then he ends up not buying anything. So that's pretty crazy, right? You're talking about like a grown ass man unable to, oh, for number one, actually asking another man his opinion about whether he should buy a pair of shoes. That's a little strange. But then even after that man says, you know what, I, I, don't, I don't really like that pair, get him out of my sight, he actually goes along with that and doesn't buy the pair of shoes that he actually wanted to buy. And I, meanwhile, I'm just like, I'm like playing on my phone. And I'm looking at and observing this and going, wow, that, what did I just see? So anyhow, basically, there is a course of dealing between these two that suggests that ongoing power play has been happening, right? One person is more dominant than the other. And basically, his opinion matters more than the other's opinion. And over time, because it kind of builds up, you kind of have this relationship where one person really dominates the other. So that's the red flag I was talking about, which is you find yourself needing approval or permission from another person. When you step back and look at it objectively, it makes no sense that you need someone else's approval to do what you want to do. When you're an adult, you don't need anyone else's approval to do that. Okay, so if you're interested in learning about the other red flags that suggest that you may be power played, check out my new book. It's called People Games, and I think you'll really like it. It's about mind games and the power plays that people play against each other. It'll teach you how to recognize power plays and how to actually deflect and defeat them. I think you'll find it really, really interesting. You can find it at Amazon.com or just click on the link below in this video, and you'll be taken to the Kindle store. Okay, that's it for today. Peace. I'm out.